Today I'm going to show you one of the best random models I've seen so far. Hello my friends, how are you doing? So this is called the Chroma V5 model for stable diffusion and it was actually created by one of my followers, which is mind-blowing. Up here is a warning about an empty or missing YAML metadata in the repo card, but it didn't have any problems with that. Simply download on Hugging Face under Files and Versions the Chroma V5 CKPT file. I will link that below this video and download it into your local install into the Models folder and in there into the Stable Diffusion folder. You can see my file is right here. After that, you load up Automatic 1111 and select it here from your choice of models. Now, when we look at the Hugging Face page down here, you see different examples of that random model. It will create this sci-fi metallic look. You have here some example prompts with the steps, the sampler and the CFG scale and how it is used for different things. Now, I didn't want to do that, so I figured out my own style to use this model because what you can also see here is very beautiful atmospheric light a lot of room in the images and very nice bokeh. So here's what I have created with that. Here you can see a woman in a cyberpunk city and you can see the beautiful soft light on her face, the nice hair, the interesting armor she's wearing, but also the nice bokeh in the background and these nice soft halos. In the next image, we have a very interesting bamboo forest I have never seen this kind of soft volumetric light in this kind of nice deep space that is really going back into the image, the wetness on the floor and then the reflection here in the foreground pond, all of that comes together really, really beautifully. In the next image, we have some very nice soft bokeh. Look at how soft the hair is, how beautiful and soft the skin in the face is and the details in the cherry blossoms. Again, here we have very nice skin, we have beautiful eyes and the cherry blossom crown is absolutely amazing. In the next image, you see really nice metallic texture. I like the anatomy of this kind of cyborg figure and the light halo coming from the background. I want to point out that with this model, I needed a lot less rerolls to get nice results. Here we have another sci-fi portrait Again, the light halos are beautiful, the softness of the skin, the metallic texture of her armor, and also the nice hair that is catching the light from the background. Here we have this anthropomorphic fox or wolf. Very nice details there. Again, the anatomy and also the dynamic on the image is very nice. The soft haze, that kind of floating cat or fox ghost in the foreground is beautiful. The hands of course are not perfect, but that's normal for the AI images that we can generate right now. Here we have another very nice image. I love how we get this kind of stage light, soft fogginess on the light and this nice rim light on the edges of the figure. And here we have a wolf in the bamboo forest. Look at the ground, how soft and realistic the moss feels and how everything has so much atmosphere and space. Here we have a Chinese warrior in full armor. Again, I love the metal texture, the details on his armor and the bokeh in the background. So I'm absolutely blown away by this model. I will include all of these images so you can check out the prompts and negative prompts and all the settings I'm using. To read all the prompt, negative prompt and settings I've used, simply drag my image into the PNG info tab on Automatic 1111. You can see it will load all my prompt and settings. Click on send to text to image. And now this has already loaded everything for you, including the random model. Be sure to know that this also has my seed. So if you don't want to have that, click on the dice here, which sets it to minus one. And this will give you a random seed. Now you can click on generate to get your own result with my settings and prompt. Here we already have it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.